Hello and welcome to a, another episode at Prof. Paul B. Today we're going to be programming our robot friends again and today what uh, we want to do is we want the robot to pick up all of the things that are around him in a square and we want him, there's a couple things, we want him to do it clockwise so that means a lot of right turns and uh, poor Bobby doesn't know how to turn right yet all he knows is how to turn left three times so we're gonna have to work that in and also um, we want to we want to use uh, a nice loop an iteration uh, to find a pattern put that pattern in the iteration and have a nice um, easy to read code okay so that's what we're going to do so before we get started, I'll move this over here for now. Before we get started, I would like to create a static method for helping Bobby to turn right. So I don't always have to put those three turn lefts. So remember, so I'm going to do that right now. Private static void turn right. Opening brace closing brace and what am I going to put in here I'm going to put robot nope I'm missing the input parameter and what type do I want to work on I want to work on a robot and inside my method I am going to call it simply robot small r robot capital R that's the type and robot small r that's the variable name that I'm going to be using within this method to act on that object Okay, so we have robot dot turn left. We have to do it three times. Let's let's put that in a four. We want we want to use a four anyway. For int i equals one zero. Oops, i is less than three, and i plus plus. And we're going to do robot dot turn left. And actually, we'll, we don't technically we don't need a brace. We don't need to enclose the robot dot turn left in braces. Um, but I kind of like to have the braces. I like to be consistent. Okay, so now we have our method turn right. Now let's look at this again. So first thing we want to do is, you know what, first thing what we can do is just code the whole thing and then try to try to see where the pattern is. Um, and that, that'll give us a better idea of where to put the four. Or uh, more precisely, what to put inside the four. So first thing I want to do is uh, bobby.move. That's going to bring bobby to the top. It's going to bring Bobby right up here, still facing north. And then what we can do is B O B B I E dot O oh, turn turn right. Is that how we do it? Let's, oh, let me just kill this process first. Crimson only likes one process at a time, so let me try to. But we get an error. We get turn right is not public in becker.robots so we cannot use it but we just declared it here but this is a this is not an instance method this is a static method okay so how do we call this method we call this method by using its name we don't call it by we don't call it as a an instance method of the of the robot class we call it by its name okay but here since this method is expecting a robot and we, have, we do have one robot his name is Bobby so what we're going to do is we're going to pass Bobby on to the method and the method is going to say okay you want me to work on Bobby no problem I'm going to call it robot and this is what I'm going to do so let's try this out just to, just to make sure that we're on the right track so we're compiling so that's good and clicking start Cool. So we turned right. Okay. So now, now what could we do? We could actually pick up a thing because we're right on top of a thing. So we could say Bobby dot pick thing, and then Bobby dot 
move. And I think that's going to bring us to the corner. And let's just take a look. Okay, let me compile. It didn't. Oh, I forgot my semicolon. And let's take a look at what, what we're doing so far. Okay, so we're, we're there. So now what we can do is we can turn right again and then pick him up. So we'll do turn right. And now I'll do a bobby dot pick thing. Okay, so let's save that. And let's compile it. And run it. Oh, now let's see. We're turn, turning right, picking, turning right, picking. Good. Okay, so now we have to move, pick thing, move, pick thing or move, turn right, then pick thing. Okay, so let's do that. So we have to do bobby.move, um, bobby.pick thing, oops, bobby.move, Bobby. Okay, let's see. Let's hold off. Let's see where we are. I'm going to close it up, compile it, and try to run it again. Let's see where we're at after all this code. So we're doing that. Pick. Okay, so we're right there. But you know what? I am actually going to. I could do two things here. I could either pick it or I could turn right to get ready to go in the new direction and pick it after that. I am going to choose to turn right before picking it. Okay? And we'll see we'll see why a, a little bit later. Bobby dot turn right. Oops. M mistake. It's an instance method. Turn right Bobby. Now I'm gonna do the pick thing. Oops, I forgot Bobby. Bobby dot pick thing. And now we're facing west. Oh, where's my there we go. Now we're facing this way and we just pick this one up, so we've got to do one move, pick thing, one and another move. Okay, so we're gonna do one move, pick thing. And another move. Okay, so let's try this out. See what see how we're doing. Oh, we made a mistake. Let's take a look. What is the uh, problem? The very oh, Bobby. Oh, sorry, Bobby. I'm, I misspelled your name. Okay, let's try that again. Yep. Okay, so we're going. We're good to go. Now let's see how we're doing so far. We're picking. Yep. Turn right, pick, pick, turn right, pick, pick. Okay, so now all I have to do is turn right, pick, move, pick, move, pick, and I'm done. Okay, so Bobby dot turn right. Oh, here I go again. Turn right, Bobby dot pick. And Bobby dot move. No, I'm doing Bobby dot pick thing. One more Bobby dot move. And let's see where that brings us. up a little bit. 
Cool. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to want to reposition him first, so I'm going to do a turn right, and then I'm going to pick it up, pick him up, pick up the thing. And finally, ah, uh, here I go again with the Bobby dot turn. Oh no, 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 no. This would be pick thing. So I hope you notice that I did make a mistake up here. I always want to call it as an instance method, but it's not. Okay, so let's compile this and run it. And let's take a let's go a little bit faster this time. So we're picking up we're picking up everything. And that's it. And that's what we wanted to accomplish. Okay, on the next video we're gonna actually look at optimizing this by using a for statement.